Okay. So, I've noticed, like, a lot of people, especially in, like, the lower elos, don't really get how to play off tank and, like, what your job is and how you should be looking to do it on the different off tanks. So, I'm going to go through all of them, really. And let's start with Zarya, because I think she's one of the simpler ones, actually. Together, we are Which isn't strong. to say easier, just simpler. So Zarya, you got your right click, your left click, and you got your bubbles, right? And that's literally all you have. If you're playing with a run, which is how she's most commonly played, I mean, I guess double bubble is really a thing now too, but like, a lot of people understand the Rhine thing. You want to be right next to your Reinhardt. Friendly bot, here's my run. You want to be like here. Let me basically on his shoulder. You can bubble him. Boom. You can walk in front of him and body block the bubble if you gotta. And then if the other Reinhardt pushes on him, all you have to do is this. And you're right there tasering the Reinhardt who's swinging on your Reinhardt. Uh, if you're playing back here, you just have so fewer options. Uh, you want to look to split with your Rhine as you're walking in. So like, you two are together right here. You're kind of a unit. You're like just behind his shoulder like this. Target and then as he walks in, you kind of like split like this and kind of wrap around a little bit. Not super far. Like even this is a huge angle with your Reinhardt. Because like think about the tiny area Reinhardt's swinging in. That means there's an enemy right here. So now you have a huge angle on them. Uh, so Zarya looks to make angles to her Reinhardt very closely. Um, in other comps like Double Bubble, you're a uh, backline bodyguard. So you hang out very closely to your supports, you bubble your monkey as he jumps in, you bubble yourself and body block when uh, they come for your backline, and you kill whoever comes for your backline. Once you're high energy, then you start pushing forward and killing things. Oh, hello, Joey. Sigma, you are all there about no the high grounds and off angles. Universe to make sense to you. Going up here. It's too bad you don't really have a lot of mobility because, like, these flanks can take a while, but they're super important. There's my Reinhardt. Here's an angle. Or like, here's an angle. Up there would be an angle. You want to be up somewhere high, looking down, where you can see the entire battlefield. Uh, and you can spam people out, and it's really hard to get to you. And it makes it really hard for them to push, because again, if you're off on this off angle, and they start pushing your Ryan, well, or, you know, whoever you're playing with, you're a Risa probably. Um, and you can also hold these angles uh, for your DPS. So if you got like an Ash or whatever, give her a shield. Now she gets the peek for free. If somebody comes dive your Ash, now they're dead. But the biggest, biggest thing is you have to be off angling to your main tank. Have to, have to, have to. Hold a high ground. Hold high grounds and off angle. And kite. Maintain distance with the enemy. You don't want to let them walk up on you because you're not a brawl hero. Once they're on top of you, you're screwed. If you can maintain distance, though, you can spam them out. Roadhog. I'm a one man you can go for the hard flanks. If you want. But it's you are only getting value if you kill things. The other thing you can do is, again, hold an off angle. You're off, or like a flank angle, whatever. Places where the enemy team you think would want to push in. Do you know how hard it is to push onto a Roadhog who's just hanging out there? Like, you can take cover, you got your vape, they push on you, you can land the combo. Like, boom. You are insane amounts of damage. You also want to be doing constant spam, especially with your damage buff. You can 
frag people out from range actually pretty easily, and you also just wreck shields. So you're doing constant spam from angles, or you're hard flanking and getting picks. And last, Diva. Save Diva for last because she is the hardest, possibly the most difficult hero in this game. You have 5,000 jobs. Uh, you're kind of Lucio. You're kind of the support of the tank line. Um, one of your many, many jobs is to peel for the other five people in your team. You need to be somewhere where you can see everything. You need to be constantly looking around, and you need to use your jets to come save people who need saving. Uh, you are something of an assassin. You can, like... If you have all your cooldowns, you can wreck people, uh, like wreck a squishy, or you can dive on somebody that's half and get them pretty easily. Uh, if you want to, like, look to make those plays where you then, like, come back up onto a high ground, only better than that, that was really bad. Uh, while you're doing that, though, you have other jobs that you're doing at the same time. The other job that you're doing is playing kind of a middle distance with your run compared to, like, say, Zarya or the other off tanks, where you're split a little bit further, but you're still wrapping around, and you're shooting people. Ideally, you're up on a high ground shooting them in the head. Like, if you're right here with your run, and somebody pushes on your run, well, now you're shooting them in the back, and our shotguns do head headshot damage, so this is actually meaningful, and it's really hard to deal with. Never mind that you can see everything that's going on, you can DM, you can do whatever you want to do. So that's how you multitask. You have to be looking for those angles where you can see everything, pressure things, and still be safe. And then you use your jets to go where you need to be and save the day. And you just save the day every four or five seconds if you can. Hmm. Alright. There's obviously a lot more to all of these tanks. That was just sort of off-tanking in a nutshell. Uh, off-tanks take off angles to your main tank. That is, like, vitally important. If you are playing directly behind your main tank, you're just not getting enough value. You can be doing so much more. Uh, the different off-tanks, though, obviously have to do this in different ways. They have different playstyles around taking these off angles but they are all off angling. Cool.